Good evening and welcome to the weather bulletin for today, Tuesday, 30th August 2050. The dry conditions continue to persist and looking at the rainfall chart, we can see that no rainfall has been recorded for the past 24 hours. And it has been now two months since we last had significant rains and the Lagog Dam, which is the biggest on the island, is at, is at its lowest capacity at 10%. This situation is expected to continue to persist as we are still under the influence of a ridge from the Mascarene anticyclone. So for tonight, we're expecting the weather to be fine. Temperature 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. Winds south to southeasterlies 15 to 30 kilometers per hour and the sea will be slight. Tomorrow, we're expecting the day to be sunny and hot. T temperatures 32 to 33 degrees Celsius. And it should be noted that this is quite high for this season, as normally the average is about 29 degrees Celsius. The wind southeasterly is 20 to 40 kilometers per hour, the sea slight at times moderate. For the next four days, we're not expecting any major changes in the weather. Again, the sunny conditions will prevail with high temperatures of 33 degrees Celsius. Wind southeasterly is 20 to 40 kilometers per hour, and the sea slight at times moderate. This is a fictitious report. But if we don't take action now to mitigate the effects of climate change, these are the conditions we will be faced with in the next 35 years, or it can be even worse. And according to climate change scenarios, for the dry season, which is June, July and August, most models are showing that the dry season will be much drier. And the wet season, which is December, January, February, most models are showing that it will be much wetter. The dry season being drier will cause a lot of erosion of, over the area. And the wet season, according to studies, it is showing that the rains will be of short duration and much more intense. And this will cause a lot of flooding and also landslides. Tropical cyclones will be more frequent over the Indian Ocean. And this might have a direct or indirect effect of, over our region. And it is still vivid in our minds, the effects of tropical cyclone filling in January 2013 which gave a lot of flooding and landslides over especially the eastern coast of the main island of Mahe, and it affected more than 1,000 houses. And these climate change scenarios will have effects also, serious consequences on the economy, such as water, agriculture, health, and tourism. Sea level rise is also a concern to us, and the trend shows that the sea level is rising about 0.6 centimeters per year, and if this trend continues, this will have severe impacts on our beaches and also on different infrastructures along the coast, such as roads and houses. Seychelles, as a small island state, are really concerned about climate change and the, this might threaten our existence as a small island nation. Therefore, let us join hands together to combat the effects of climate change. Thank you for your attention. Comme vous venez de le voir, le changement climatique va de plus en plus influer sur les conditions météorologiques quotidiennes. Toutefois, nul besoin d'attendre 2050 pour en constater les répercussions. Aujourd'hui, déjà, dans de nombreuses régions du monde, on observe une intensification des chutes de pluie, des inondations, des orages, des vagues de chaleur, des sécheresses. Nous devons limiter ces conséquences néfastes autant que possible. Pour ce faire, la meilleure méthode est de réduire rapidement et significativement nos émissions de dioxyde de carbone et d'autres gaz à effet de serre. Par ailleurs, dans la mesure où la planète est déjà soumise à un réchauffement important, nous devons apprendre à nous adapter à l'évolution du climat. Il est nécessaire de renforcer les capacités d'adaptation au climat en aidant nos villes, nos sociétés à mieux faire face aux phénomènes météorologiques extrêmes. Nous devons réduire encore plus les risques de catastrophes Normalement, grâce à des systèmes d'alerte précoces améliorés, en informant les collectivités et les autorités des meilleurs moyens de se protéger contre tous les aléas importants, y compris les cyclones, les ondes de tempête, les inondations, les sécheresses, les extrêmes de température. Nous devons également développer les services météorologiques existants en créant des services climatologiques qui aident la population à comprendre quelles sont les vulnérabilités actuelles et futures face au climat et comment en tenir compte. Le message des scientifiques est clair. Plus nous réduirons les émissions de gaz à effet de serre, moins nous aurons à faire pour nous adapter et plus légère sera la facture. Œuvrons donc ensemble à un avenir plus sûr et viable pour nous-mêmes et pour les générations futures. Je vous remercie.